CPG Squad, before we get into today's video, don't forget to slap that like button. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to do it. You did it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Uh, okay, I'm gonna assume you did it. Thank you so much. Now enjoy the video. Wow, another beautiful day in Bloxburg, but today is better than most days because I get to hang out with my dad today. I don't normally get to hang out with my dad. He's been working so much lately ever since he got this new girlfriend. <sighs> it's like ever since she's been around, my dad's just had to work so much because if I'm being honest, I think she's kind of a gold digger, but my suspicions haven't been confirmed yet. But that's okay, I'm just gonna not think about the negative because like I said, today is a great day where I get to hang out with my dad. Uh. Dad, are you awake? Are you in the kitchen? There you are. Oh, hey, good morning, Megan. I just finished making breakfast. Oh, Dad, are you excited for today? Because I'm like super excited for today where we're finally going to get to hang out together. Yeah, I'm really excited. I have a lot planned. We're going to go down to the docks and ride the Ferris wheel and get ice cream and then run through the park. It'll be great. Oh, all of that just sounds so fun. Um, Do you think Corilla's going to be coming with us? Ugh, what is that smell? Were you cooking again? Uh, yeah, I made bacon and eggs for everybody for breakfast before our big day. Ugh, you know I hate bacon and eggs. I wanted pancakes. Oh, uh, well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, bacon and eggs are Megan's favorites. Yeah, and Carilla, you just gotta know, you didn't have to make you anything, so you should just be grateful. Here, take a portion, sit down, and eat. My dad and I were having a private conversation. Uh, I think I'm okay. I'll just pass. I'll just starve. You know, it's fine. <sighs> well, don't listen to her, Dad. So anyway, uh, about our plans today. It's going to be such a good day. Uh, Krilla, don't you have some stuff to do? Like, you know, don't you have work to get to or something like that? Or, oh, wait, I forgot. You don't have a job. Should you be job hunting today? No, you know, I actually have some really important stuff, you know, adult things to tend to. You wouldn't understand. Uh, well, you know what? I, I can make you pancakes if you want. Please, that would be great. What? Okay. Dad, you can't just give in to everything she says. Well, if she wants pancakes, I don't mind making her pancakes. You said you guys have plans or something today? Yeah, my dad and I were gonna go down to the docks and get some ice cream and hang out because he's been working a lot lately because somebody is pretty high maintenance here. So, you know, we're just gonna go bond together. Well, sweetie, do you really think you have time for that? I mean, we really could kind of use some more money. Uh, well, I mean, I feel like we have plenty of money. Like, look at where we're living. Look at all the stuff we got. These pancakes are almost done, by the way. This dump? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's great. I mean, but like, don't you want to live somewhere even better? What? This house is amazing. What are you talking about? There's room for all of us here. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, it could definitely use some improvements at the very least. And I don't think we can really afford that if you're going to take a day off to spend with Megan. Well, I mean, we've been improving the house so much since we started dating. I mean, when we started dating, we were actually living in a really small home. And now we're in this bigger home. What yeah, but look at these ceilings. More? They're not high enough. And like this color on the walls, it just is really like gross. It reminds me of uh, grass and dirt. and yeah, It's like fresh. It's like environmental. Gross. No one likes the environment. Uh, these faces, they's got to go. Oh, this isn't fair. I was going to hang out with you today, Dad. Please do not give in to her again. Uh, she's right, though. We really have been spending a lot of money. It probably wouldn't hurt me to pick up an extra shift at work. Well, not today, though, right? We're hanging out? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, Corella? Oh, I definitely think you should go to work. I mean, Megan can wait, right? Um, okay, yeah, we can always do this another day, honey. I'll have another day off in, like, 14 days. 14 days? That's like two weeks! Uh, I'm sorry, but I made pancakes and eggs and bacon so you guys can have a feast for breakfast. Uh, I'll see you guys tonight. Great. Thanks, sweetie. Girl, this is all your fault. You know, ever since you've come around, you've been working my dad to death and you've refused to get a job. I'm starting to think you're only after us for our money. Well, maybe if you respected your father more and saw that he was a hardworking man, then you would understand. Well, you're not going to get away with this, you know? It's like you just come in and you start controlling our lives. Do you even love my dad or are you just using him? Of course I love him. Yeah, the L word. Yeah, of course. And soon, we're going to be married, and I can make all the decisions I want regarding you, regarding this house, regarding our life. What do you mean, regarding me? Well, I mean, you're his daughter, so that would make me your stepmom. 
Um, no. I would rather run away from home and live under a bridge than be your stepdaughter, okay? You can't control my dad like this. I swear, I'm gonna prove to him that you're just after us for the money. You don't love him. <laughs> and who do you think he's going to believe, you or me? Well, I hope he would believe me. I'm his daughter. So as soon as he gets home from work today, I'm, I'm telling on you. I'm gonna tell him everything. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Ugh! Oh no, this is so bad. Just as I thought, Krilla is a gold digger. She just wants to use my dad for all the money in the house, and she just wants a bigger, better house. We already live in a mansion, the nicest house on the block. Oh, this is just so unfair. I'm gonna have to think of a way to tell my dad because, you know, it's kind of big news. Uh, all of a sudden, this girl is using him, and I just hope he believes me, but I think I'm just gonna watch some TV until he gets home now that all my plans have been ruined. Megan, I'm home! Oh, Dad, there you I are! Oh, the sorry, let me box. just turn ah. off the TV. I was watching this new episode of Epic Unicorn Adventures, and it was really cool! Oh, that's awesome. Uh, how was your day with Corella? It was okay. I don't know. Dad, if I'm being honest with you, I think she's just trying to use you for your money. I think she's being a really big gold digger. What? Gold digger? What are you talking about? Corella's not a gold digger. Well, see, when I was talking to her earlier today, she was telling me that soon you guys are going to be married and then she's going to have control over everything. How much you work, she's going to have control over me, and she's going to have control over you and your thoughts. And, you know, I don't think she's going to rest until you've been worked to death. Oh, <laughs> she was probably just messing with you. I mean, there's no gold to dig here. I don't have any. Well, I think she thinks that you do because she keeps on making you go to work. Uh, I I'm sure it's all in your imagination. Corella's a great girl. Oh. oh, hi, sweetie. Talking about me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually we were. So how was your day, you guys? Um, it was great, but, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm seeing you here, and it's hardly been even eight hours. I would have thought that you would have picked up a double or something. Oh, uh, a double shift? You think I should work a double? Well, I mean, of course, if you're going to take the day to work, I mean, we could definitely use the money. Well, I mean, if you think uh, I should work a double, uh, then you got it. Uh, what? You're leaving already again? Well, I mean, she is right. We could really use the money. We've been burning a lot of cash lately. But uh, I'm sure you girls will find something to do. See you guys later. Oh, uh, Bye. Okay. Uh, Krilla, <laughs> would you just... Leave me to myself. I don't want to talk to you or see you. Sure. I don't really want to talk to you or see you either. Oh my gosh. It's getting worse. It's getting so much worse. I'm going to have to find a way to prove to my dad that she's a gold digger. But what am I going to do? I think I could probably set up a gold digger trap. I mean, I've seen that on the internet before. People have definitely been setting up gold digger traps and I, um, maybe they work? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come to the house in an elaborate disguise. That way she won't recognize me. And then I'm gonna trick her into the gold digger trap. And once she falls for it, then I'm gonna prove to my dad that she is in fact a gold digger. Okay, I have my disguise on, sunglasses and a pastel colored wig. She will never recognize me. So now I just have to find a way to get to the front of the house and ring the doorbell without being seen. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Uh, who's there? Who are you? Uh, hi, you mind if I come in for a second? Um, I'd prefer you didn't, cause you're- a I, I'm just gonna come in for a second. My name is, um, Strawberry Shortcake, and I have a proposition for you. Yeah, what kind of name is Strawberry Shortcake? No, 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 this is not about me. This is about you and what we can do for your future and your money and your mansion. So, uh, you, you own this place, right? Oh, uh, yeah, this place? Um, uh, yeah, of course. I, I own it and the limo out front and all the things inside of it. Yeah, it's mine. Mm -hmm. So it's all yours. You don't have anybody else living here with you? Nope, it's just me. This is my mansion. <laughs> oh, perfect, because I have a proposition for you. What if I told you I could quadruple your, your net worth? Like, I'd get you a house four times as big and I'd fill your pockets with... Bricks of gold, what would you say? Well, I'd say it sounds too good to be true, but... Well, it's not too good to be true. It just depends. Are you willing to leave all of this behind, everybody you know, and take the money? Oh, I mean this. This is just pocket change. Uh, it doesn't mean anything to me. So, so you're telling me nothing or no living things in this house mean anything to you? Uh, nope. 
don't think so. Perfect, okay, follow me. I'm gonna show you to your brand new home, which is going to be a huge mega mansion. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive you there. Do you mind if I use your limo? Oh, of course not. Uh... You can sit in the back, I'll chauffeur you, okay? Great, thanks. Okay, this is perfect. I have her right in the palm of my hand. Sooner or later, I'm gonna get her trapped in my gold digger trap that I have set up across town. This plan has actually been days in the making, but now I know that my dad is gonna see her for her true self and then we are gonna be rid of Corilla. Okay, so here it is. Go ahead and feel free to get out and I just, I, I left something in my gazebo down here. Uh, would you mind getting it for me? I mean, I thought we were going to this exquisite mansion that you talked about. No, we uh, are, what? we are. Um, would you mind is... reading that sign right there? Oh, uh, free money. Click here to open. Ooh, am I on like a game show or something? Um, it's, it's not really a game show. It's all your wildest dreams are behind this door. There's mounds and mounds of money and gold. What? <gasps> Should, can I, go, can I go in? Yeah, go in, just click it. <gasps> and you're in. Bam! Okay, it's locked, it's locked. Uh, enjoy your stay, gold digger. What, what is this? Help! No, no, you stay there, I'm gonna go get my dad. Okay, dad, you're probably wondering why I've dragged you all the way to this artificial, uh, house. Yeah, what is this place? How did you find this place? It's so weird. I know, I know it's weird. I actually spent a lot of time building it. I even had to build a wall because there's something very dangerous in the basement of this home. Should I call the cops if it's dangerous? Should you even be here? No, yeah, no, I am I should be here because the thing is, is I trapped that thing that's in the basement and you're not gonna really like this at all. Uh, what is it? What's down there? Okay, follow me. So, Right down here, I have set up what I like to call the Gold Digger Trap 3000. Uh, the Gold Digger Trap 3000? What are you talking about? So, before we go in here, I have to preface you. I went up to Corilla in a very impressive disguise. I told her if she abandoned everything in the home, that she would get a ton of free money and wealth. And she told me that nothing in that house matters to her at all. Uh, wait, Corella told you this? Yeah, she told me nothing in the house mattered and that she wanted all this free money. So I have her trapped in here. If all this is true, then me and Corella are over. Take a look, Corella. Finally, you're back. Can I leave now? No, not until you tell my dad the truth. Well, some lady came up to me and she trapped me down here. And why did she trap you? What did she try to sell you? Um, she wasn't trying to sell me anything. So you just went with a stranger, willingly, and got yourself locked in a house with no ulterior motives. Okay, fine. Fine, she promised me she'd give me a lot of money that I was obviously going to share with you two. No, it's not true because I was the person in the disguise and I caught you. You said none of that mattered. You didn't even say that you were dating my dad. Wow, I can't believe you, Corella. All this is true and I believe Megan, so we're done. Oh, uh, what? You can live in this basement all you want. No, she can't live in this place. This place is too nice for her. I'm going to send her to the dungeon. The, 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 the dungeon. dungeon? Yeah, the dungeon. You, you have a dungeon? You have, you have a dungeon? You know, we don't have to talk about that right now. I'm just glad that we're done with you, Corilla. Fine, I don't want to be here with you guys anyway. Nope, you're trapped and you're never escaping. Oh. Come on, Dad. Okay, so we're locking you in here forever, Corella. No, I'm going to be back for her to put her in the dungeon. Oh, you're, okay. Well, we'll come back for you in the dungeon. It was nice not knowing you anymore. Well, Dad, so that's that. I'm glad you know that, you know, we won't be seeing Corella anymore. I'm sorry I didn't believe you before, too. I, I've just been so overworked, I haven't really had time to... I guess pay close attention. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just glad that we're done with that phase of our life now. And she's trapped and she's never going to hurt us again. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below with the secret emoji to prove that you are a true member of the hashtag PG Squad. Today's secret emoji is a brick of gold for all the gold diggers out there. Don't forget to check out Kayla's channel. She's linked in the description down below. She helped me out with today's video. And we will talk to you guys next time. Bye!